right, my dears, here we are for another message, something that you need to know right now. We're going to find out the nitty gritty. So, Spirit, give us insight here for the collective. Like I always say, this is a collective general message. So, take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind, baby. Okay, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. Don't try to force fit something. All right, we ain't trying to force fit a thing. Now, let's go ahead and see what messages you may need to hear. Spirit, give us insight here for the collective. What's the message? What's the message? So we got the mirror, knowing thyself, self-examination, reflection. Oh, when it comes to falling in love. Oh, and yearning, desire. Okay. An upswing of power. We're going to pull two more of these babies. When it comes to sacrifice and nurture here. So, it looks like here that there's a period of time where you've come to the conclusion here that you really over-sacrifice when you love others, okay? When you... um have love for someone whether it be romantic love which i feel like there's a deep resonance there but also platonic love there's the sense of you really reflecting and realizing here that when you truly fall in love that this gives you this this yearning desire here to sacrifice to nurture to give to love to support um this is something maybe you were you know, maybe raised to be a lover, a giver, a supporter. Maybe this is something that's just in your energy space. Maybe a past situation here has made you into this person here. But you're really reflecting here on where you may over-sacrifice, where you may over-give, where you may over-nurture just because you love someone. And when we over-give, over-nurture, that means we're taking away from ourselves. That giving that we're giving to everybody else, we're not giving anything to ourselves, right? So there's been this energy here where it's like, once you fall in love, you have this deep desire here to start over-sacrificing. And so now it looks like there's going to be some sort of shift in this energy coming up. We're going to pull some more cards and see what the storyline is and what's going on. But we know overgiving is never going to be healthy. And I love the way this reads here. It says there are sacrifices that are worth making, but there are those that will destroy you. When you give, 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 give and leave your well dry and fill up other people's well, that's a destruction. That's doing too much. That's doing too much. And so you got to learn to have those boundaries and let, you know, just because you love somebody don't mean you owe them. And that's something I had to learn, you know, especially just like growing up and feeling like in order to get love that you had to be a certain way or act a certain type of way. And so it's like, no, you don't have to overgive. You ain't got to sacrifice. You don't. And not to say not at all, but not to the point of destruction. It's okay to love without overgiving. You don't have to do anything extra. You're okay on your own. You are the prize. You are good enough. You don't got to over-sacrifice. You don't got to say yes to every request. Shoot, we ain't got time for it, okay? We got the Eight of Wands. The Three of Cups. Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups. I like how we got Wands, Cups, Wands, Cups, and then Wands again. <laughs> okay, the Two of Wands, and the Four of Wands. A lot of Wands energy. So now that you're realizing this, it's a creative time in your life. Okay. And what you're going to be focused on here is moving towards building these connections in a way that's much healthier for you, okay? And this is because you're in your Queen of Wands energy, which means you're really focused on things that make you happy, things that you desire. You're focused on going on your own journey here with this Eight of Cups. You're not here to be, you know, um, the supporting role to whoever is needing stuff, okay? Like, we don't got time for it. You're not here to be the supporting role. You're the main lead. You're the main lead actor or actress in your life. Okay, so you don't got time to be a supporting actor in whoever's life that's requiring all these sacrifices. No, they need to step up to the plate and be the main actor or actress in their life. 
So with this here, it's like you're really focused here on partnerships where there's collaborative energy, where y'all are getting along, when two people are happy, we both dancing, we both happy. We're all out here celebrating and happy. Not you ran ragged and they sitting back, you know, feeling good. No, we're not doing that. Just because you love someone doesn't mean you have to overgive. You have to over sacrifice. You have to let a piece of you go every day. No, you're keeping you all of that. And for some of you, this is a message for your next connection because you got this habit and this habit is not healthy, baby. If you with somebody right now or you dealing with somebody, seeing somebody and you overgiving, you just, you know, sacrificing and bending over backwards and trying to make things work and, and trying to be, you know, getting chose and all that. You going in the wrong direction, baby. Okay. Wrong direction. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's, now let's get with it because I think you're going in the right direction. That's why you're here listening to this message. What else needs to come out? Okay. So sometimes conflicts may arise. They really may. Yes. When it comes to the offerings that you get and you have to be okay with the conflicts, you have to be okay with that. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I don't agree. No, just because I love you don't mean I owe you a thing. That don't mean I got to listen to your advice. Okay. That doesn't mean I got to meet up with you. It doesn't mean I owe you anything. And so this is a lesson you learn and it's just because you love somebody don't mean you owe them, baby. You don't owe them a damn thing except for love. That's it. And love don't mean sacrificing everything. It don't mean giving blood, sweat, and tears. No, that's not what that means. And so there may be some people that's going to be upset. It looks like it's going to be some people that's going to be upset. That's why the conflict is arising. But it's up to you at that point to take care of numero uno. You, baby. You are the number one person to deal with in your life because if you ain't taken care of, how can you take care of anyone else? You cannot. So this even can go down to our kids. I had to let my daughter know a few weeks ago. She was furious at me. She wanted me to get up out of bed. I was exhausted. It was a long work. She wanted me to get up out of bed and take her to Taco Bell to pick up her order in which she should have never ordered it because Taco Bell never delivers when she ordered through Uber Eats. And I'm like, who the hell told you to order through that? And you think I'm getting out of bed? No, you, you got me bent. I'm exhausted. She was mad. But at the end of the day, I had to take care of me first. Just because you love somebody, don't matter who it is, don't mean you got to sit there and do everything they want and bend over back and run yourself ragged and make yourself miserable and tired. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, see, look at this. This is exactly what I was just talking about, okay? This is stressful. Who the hell wants to be on a tightrope on a boat in the middle of the ocean while juggling? Nobody, not a single soul because this looks hectic. It looks stressful. We can't keep working too hard and doing too much and giving too much. Spirit is trying to put this in your head so you can know, look, stop it, okay? If you just stopped it, then no, you on the right track. You on the road. Yes, you doing the right thing. Don't keep on giving. If somebody is trying to guilt trip you, trying to make you feel bad, trying to sound sad or dry big or whatever people try to do these days, you don't have to feel guilty at all, baby, because um, you don't got to sacrifice your mental and emotional health. Who made them, you know, God, ultimately, because why you need to sacrifice for them? Y'all equals. <laughs> no. You can sacrifice your own mental health for your problems. Tell us what else is going on here. Look at this. The devil. Mm, mm, mm. The hierophant. The hanged woman. The high priestess. Mm. They're saying here that when people get all involved and start pulling you in every which direction and needing your leadership and needing your guidance and needing this and needing that to do this and do that. What's happening is it's messing up your intuitive knowing because they're distracting you. Ultimately, there are certain things that you're supposed to be focused on working towards, but you got all of this energy around you here, which is distracting you. So I'm hearing that Tina Turner, what's love got to do with it, baby? Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? This is not about love. Okay, this is about what's right and what's wrong. This is about healthy boundaries. This is about taking care of yourself. This is about self love. All right, baby. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep it going. Let's up. Uh, uh, we got four coins. Yes. It's up to you to maintain your happiness. Four coins is all about micromanaging, maintaining, making sure things is right. 
Yes, you are the one who needs to maintain and make sure that there's no air of defeat in your life, that you're not feeling defeated, that you're not feeling stagnant, that you're not feeling um, drained. It's up to you to defend yourself, nine of wands. So you're being told, okay, brutally and honestly here, that don't keep letting people drain you, that it's the time for independence. I love the way this is right at the end of the deck and at the bottom, nine of coins is independence, getting your life together the the nine of coins always got her itch together because she usually be in her beautiful gown in the writer way she got her coins she got her beautiful little birds her house in the background like everything is wonderful okay so like share comment subscribe all of that good stuff your support is greatly appreciated you can leave a donation send some stars all of that is appreciated check out my website links below for any goodies and i'm gonna be talking to you later boo Bye.